So let's connect uh, expand device to my laptop and see how it is working. So connect this C type USB to the device. So connect it here. here to this and uh, connect the other end of the cable which is your uh, ES USB type place it to the USB port of your laptop or a desktop whatever you are using so good thing is as we have seen in the tablet cover so this supports Windows 10 8 7 versions so I am currently using Windows 10 so it automatically detects so you don't uh, need to install any drivers but for better performance we need to install the drivers but if you want to use straight away Windows 10 supports so let us open a whiteboard so as I said this pen is batteryless a passive pen so you can start using directly see no software is required straight away plug and play you can start connecting to the device your device to the laptop and then straight away use any one of the <coughs> tool like uh, whiteboard MS paint so you can see it so it's pretty smooth I was using this for almost uh, last uh, three days so uh, I feel very happy with this product so this is very responsive this pen has two buttons here so the first one towards the nib which is used for a right click option so you can use this as a mouse as well so you can use this button for uh, using as a right click and the other one you can use it for a eraser so by default these are the functionalities and this can be customizable so I'll shortly tell how to customize these buttons so I'm on the whiteboard so now I'm using the second button which is eraser so click on the button yeah see if I hold it and then doing so this is working as an eraser now suppose now you can use this as a mouse pointer as well whenever you touch the pad this works like you know single click and if you are uh, using this button it to operates as this double click right click button okay so let us see how to customize these buttons so even in the tab you can see there are eight buttons so these buttons you can assign a shortcut keys to these buttons similarly you can assign a shortcut keys to these buttons which are mounted in the pen so for enabling or for customizing these buttons we need to install xpen application so let us see how how to install that application now open the chrome browser search for xpen.com website open the xpen.com website and go to support here in support section you find option for downloading the softwares there are other free softwares those are available for us to download for free um, these are basically uh, used uh, for uh, drawing so if you are a uh, drawing artist and all you can leverage these softwares but now what we are interested in downloading the software drivers that is required for setting up your Deco Mini 7 XPen. So let's click on download. So once you click on the download section, so you see a lot of categories of um, products available. So from the list, select Deco Series Pen Tablet. So Deco Professional Series is a different one. So I'm currently using Deco Mini 7. So which falls under Deco Series Pen Tablet. So I need to select Deco series pen tablet. And from the list here, you can see Deco Mini 7. So this is a tablet that I'm currently using and I'm connected to the device. So let's click on here. 
in Deco Mini 7. So if you scroll down, you will see softwares and drivers. Those are required for you to download and install. So if you are a Mac user, you can download any one of these. So you have two types of drivers. One is a new UI based driver and second one is official, uh, which is having a older interface. So if you scroll down, I'm using Windows 10. So for Windows 10, you have two options. One is a expand uh, new UI driver and the second is expand official driver. So now I'm going to download the new UI driver and uh, install it and see how it works. Suppose if you are using any other operating systems like Linux based operating systems, you have a separate package to be downloaded for that. OK, so let us start downloading the uh, Windows 10 UI driver, new UI driver. Click on download. So this will download a zip file for you. And once the download is done, you can unzip and then start installing the software. So uh, download is completed. So let us see uh, unzipping the downloaded file and start installing the application. So here is the downloaded file. I'll just extract the zip file. Double click the application. So application is launching. Yeah, so this is how the GUI interface looks for installation. So click on installation. Installation is completed. So it is asking me for a re restart or we can even uh, allow it to restart later. So for now, I'm just uh, restarting it later. Search, open the application. Search for pen tablet option in your search bar. So this is the application. Hola. So this is the graphical user interface for your pen tablet. Deco Mini 7. It states like, you know, the device is not connected. So let me connect my device. Yeah, so it's pretty quick. So I just connected the device and it uh, started detecting the device. So my device is Deco Mini 7. So it has three options, work area, pen settings, and then shortcut keys. In work area, I'm currently connected with two monitors. Uh, this is my primary and this is my secondary. And you can see here, I have my tab and the area of the tab is split it across two monitors. Suppose I don't want to split my area into two monitors. I want to use effectively the second monitor. Then in the screen, under the screen section, you have something all monitors by default selected. So open the drop down and select monitor two. Now the area of your tablet will be mapped to monitor two. Suppose if I want to switch it to monitor one, I can switch it to the monitor one. And if you want to use your tablet area to cover both the monitors, then you need to select all monitors. So let us select only monitor two. And here, uh, show display number. So this will display the uh, number of monitors that you are holding. So currently I have two monitors. So this is my secondary monitor, what I'm sharing here. And uh, suppose if you don't want to uh, use this tab area to cover the entire monitor. Instead of that, you want to select a specific uh, area within your monitor screen, then select the screen area option will be very much useful. So you can start selecting it. Suppose I want to cover uh, this Deco Mini software application area. So I can start it from here and I will select it. So now you can see here, the size of the area of Deco Mini is now mapped to operate within the area that I have selected, which is a Deco Mini application window area. So next, uh, move on to the tab and pen tab and pen display section. So here you have something called rotation settings. So currently I am using my tab in a horizontal position where the area will be selected in horizontal position. Select a 90 degrees uh, rotation 
and now you can use your tab placing horizontally right so this coordinates are mapped so you, it can it will easily show you, you know, which are which are the connecting corners from your tablet to the monitor so i can invert like 180 degrees or i can use 270 degrees suppose if you are connecting your device to a mobile then 90 degrees or 270 degrees might be a best option to select the rotation settings if you are using it for your desktop or a laptop then zero or 180 degrees might be the options that you can select next in the pen settings so for pen settings this is how your pen looks and we have two buttons provided for your pen the the first button is defaulted to use as a eraser and the second button is defaulted to use as a right click so these two are the default values you have an option to customize them suppose if you want to uh, update your um, button from the arrays if you want to replace your button with arrays option to a different option you can do it through the customization option here similarly this as well so you can do the customizations by selecting that and uh, if you want your uh, pen to operate as a mouse so you can select this mouse button uh, you can select this checkbox for mouse mode enabled so this will now work like a mouse your your pen will operate like a mouse and if i uncheck it it will be like a pen but again you if you don't select this windows ink the default pen ink will not uh, the windows ink will not be available means it will just still work like a mouse if you don't use any of the application whereas if i select this one then i can straight away use my pen as uh, this device as a pen and can start writing on whiteboard so there are adjustments for your sensitivity so pressures and then uh, how how or how you the pressure adjustments for your pen so if you depending on your requirement and how your nib is performing so you can adjust between the soft and hardness okay and the next third option is short keys so within your device you have around k uh, eight switches provided so k1 to k8 so each button can be assigned with a shortcut key so these can be used as a shortcut keys so these are the default shortcut keys those are assigned to this so k1 is assigned with the keyboard key and k8 is assigned to show the control plane so control panel is here uh, it represents this deco mini screen itself suppose if i close this and suddenly i want to open this application the deco mini 7 software application then i don't need to go in and search here and then get the application open instead of that since i assigned k8 shortcut key with the control panel so i can directly press key k8 key from my tab it will open the application automatically similarly all of these uh, shortcuts can be customizable so depending on your requirement we can customize and assign the required short key that will be useful for you so once configuring settings uh, configuring the work area pen settings and con uh, shortcut keys are done you can click on ok button so this will save the configurations so the configurations successfully done and hereafter you can go and start using the pen tab so now that we set up we are done with the setting up the software xpen uh, gui software and i have done small customizations to my tab so the k8 button starts from k1 to k8 so k8 button i defined it as a opening the xpen software control so if i click on this you can see on the screen on my second monitor application is opening so this is a key button so this is one of the shortcut keys so at any time if you want to open the control so you don't need to go and search in the search bar directly you can use this shortcut button so this will open for you and then select or unselect the area whichever you wanted to use it for as a drawing area so 
along with this software uh, there are some additional free softwares that xpen is providing for you so you can go to the support and uh, click on the free softwares so these are basically you know used for uh, some professional uh, uh, artists and all if you are if you are planning to use it for any creation artistic creations and say, and uh, things like that so you can start exploring these softwares i haven't used them uh, i am just using it for uh, uh, demo sessions or training sessions so my need is up to limited to this only so very much happy with the performance of this device so let us see how it is how i can switch between the consoles if i am using the tab and connected two monitors so let me open a whiteboard so i'll have whiteboard in one side and in the other screen i'll be opening any powerpoint presentation so you can it supports a lot of applications so whichever the application you are comfortable with and your need especially when you are uh, working in a teaching profession and all so this will be very much useful for you <laughs> now i have two applications spread in two monitors mm -hmm. so now uh, i have two screens uh, first screen is uh, having a present microsoft office powerpoint presenter and in the second screen i have the whiteboard so if you see currently my point my pen is pointing towards first monitor second monitor only so i am not able to go to the first monitor because i have selected the area drawing area as my second monitor so you can switch it just by clicking on the shortcut key to open the control so once this is open you can use this pen as a mouse as well so you just click on the drop down select it as a primary now my pointer is working here in this primary monitor so here i can start drawing right so you can see how sensitivity is so really good the pen is very smooth it's very detailed so i don't see any lagging as well uh, it's been 3 to 4 days i was using this tab so you yeah, instantly i can see the response on my screen whenever i draw it on the tab and also super sensitive and responsive so once once you open it in your uh, powerpoint you can see you can uh, this automatically gives you different types of pens and then the colors so you have an option to choose between and then choose the color you wanted and the thickness you wanted to draw with okay. and now in case if i want to shift shift my mouse pointer from primary to the secondary open the settings one more time and take your mouse and change the area of selection from the screens select secondary monitor and now my pointer is available here so i can start drawing here So overall, uh, I am very much happy uh, buying this product. So I compared this product with other uh, devices, those are available in the market. So I feel this is more economical, cost effective and performance wise as well. Of course, I haven't tried the other devices, but uh, uh, very much happy and satisfied with the performance it is delivering to me. So if you are looking for cost effective and uh, uh, best device so i recommend you to use this deco mini 7 if you find this video useful please like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you